also there were a lot of designers in Delhi. There's I really a dirty side to Mon. That's what I really want. It's it's stigmatized right now. So it when, always will. Be. And and you know I think some of it is true. I'll tell you an instance where a friend's brother, he's a model, and he shared this a funny story. But he got approached by some agents, model agency, जो होती है, or some people. There was a show, and uh, that's how they approach. They're like, okay, this is the procedure. You have to come tryouts, whatever. But there's a backdoor entry. And they made it very clear that okay, you know, you gotta suck some dick. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, 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 right. Actually, it's the other way around. Or you gotta be blown off, and like or, you gotta be okay with that. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So, so, I, so, so listen to the whole thing. This is the funny thing that the jargon, right? So he said, he said, uh, okay, you, but there's another way, uh, a shortcut. He was like, yeah, tell me about it. So he said that um, uh, you have to do something dirty. That's what he said. He was like. अब वो आया घर जम्मू से राजपूत फैमिली The first night of my modeling as fittings and fills fashion week, Rohit Bal looks up to me while I'm going. I'm like, thank you so much for the dinner. It's lovely. I'm sitting with Carol Vaisha, yeah. Lakshmi Rana, Sunalika Sahai. They're like big names in modeling. Right, industry, right, right, right. So I walk up and Rohit Bal goes to me, quoting. <laughs> He's like, "Go with that. Thoughts you stop for another cocktail." <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way. <man. laughs> I laugh. Okay, I laugh just like you. Yeah, just like you. Right. So I was that straight. Huh. Or. Screw my sexuality. I was just like, that's not my way, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right, and 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 at least Rohit Bal was subtle. Right. It was playful. Yeah. You know, you won't complain about it. Okay. You're in fact be thankful for the compliment. Okay. So I walked off. So when I was in Delhi modeling for six months, I would get these. Uh, I won't say pimp, but they were famous amongst models, young models who groomed them. Middlemen. Middlemen. Right. And I would get these calls from middlemen. Okay. So and so designer is having dinner at home. We'd love to invite you. Okay. And I knew that it ends up being a little weird, right? Right. And there is a curiosity in me who wants to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who wants to taste of the higher life? Who wants to be treated as one of the elite models? Right. Right. And they do eventually get to be elite because right. they've given in, right? Mm. I was curious also. Yeah, I want to be elite because I know I deserve it. Mm. You know, you know what your benchmark is, what your capabilities are, what you can bring on the table. Right. If you know you have the merit, you have the merit. Mm. But at the same time, I was like. Something held me back, right. and I'm thankful it did. Yeah. Uh, so I would tell my agent about it, agency that was, and they really get it. They're like, "Open, there's another way huh. to success." Okay. And you can say, "Fuck off to these men." Right. You can make your own success in this industry. It's a billion-dollar industry. Right. So I'm saying this to all the aspiring models: If you tomorrow get something, be brave enough to say, "Fuck off to these middlemen," or anybody who's trying to abuse their power, because it's a billion-dollar industry. Mm. and you can go there and make your own success right there is like literally you go to aram nagar mm. it's like th- god knows how many acre land mm. and there are like thousands of casting houses mm. everything is having a casting mm. you go you give auditions you come back and you know what i do what people don't realize when i go to my house in jammu i recently went my masses are like mere ko model bana de mm. they don't know that there are these middle aged ladies who are doing a day's job in bombay Who go straight to give castings, which is like buying a lottery ticket, mm-hmm. and then they go to their family and sleep. Okay. Because mm-hmm. an ad can require a middle-aged lady. Yeah. Yeah, it can. And these auditions just need to see that do you look good on the screen, mm-hmm. or do you fit the description? Right. Anybody can be a bloody actor. Ah. Uh-huh. Chalo, model requires a little more segregation yeah, than yeah. that. That you have to be tall, or you have to look good in the camera, or print, or whatever. Exactly. But yes. if anybody trying to abuse power, times have changed. <laughs> People are speaking about it. You can say fuck off. I've never witnessed that. Uh, thankfully, I've chosen the people around me or where yeah. I go, what relations yeah. I give, or who I have dinners with. So I've never experienced it, but I know it prevails there. Right. And it should be totally out because modeling is a beautiful job. It gives you beautiful experiences. You travel a lot. If this goes away, people actually realize what models are. Hmm. If I go to a party in Bombay and I see these beautiful girls treat models the way they get treated, it's horrible. Hmm. Because let's be honest, these guys are brave enough first to commit to what they love. Right. They're anywhere rebel to their families. No father wants his son just to be. My father never wanted me to be just be a model. Right. So it's anywhere difficult convincing your parents. Then to be a success in it, mm. you're making honest money. 
you're sober because you have to be fit mm. right you have to be really disciplined you have to go to the gym and look the part mm. and then these humble hard working sober people get treated like shit How because of the stigma or stereotype i am in my seat comfortable because i'm a bloody senior analyst in mastercard mm. I get my salary. I am comfortable with my so life. When you say they get treated like shit, how do you mean? Like, like girls. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have seen a lot of, and I won't name or give examples, no, no. but you see a lot of gold diggers. Okay. Yeah. So true. an innocent, growing up man, when he works hard in his life, hoping that you know what, one day a beautiful girl is going to see my efforts and fall in love with me. When such men go to the reality hmm. and see all the beautiful girls go for like the richest man in the club, right. who is pissing on his dad's money, yeah. who hasn't earned shit in his life, who hasn't created even. one single beautiful thing in his life mm. is getting all this attention mm. you don't understand what's happening <laughs> or maybe you but life's get to know that yeah, but life's not yeah, fair exactly. and you have to manage right. so you keep working hard and you right. eventually hope that a beautiful girl will right. eventually see the you right. and be above money or and let's be honest we eventually all make money right right so but, so so at that time it's like are you ready for that beautiful girl who saw the beautiful you or do you want more i am that, no that, that that's that's another dilemma for many people right i'm i'm just saying sir it's just true time changes true, right true so, exactly 